How can I get a UAE Dubai driving license? Two seconds and we jump into the information. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Rubert, lawyer and arbitrator with a base in Dubai in the UAE for the past almost 15 years. I'm happy to be with all of you today to share information that is applicable to those newcomers, new residents coming to Dubai UA. A question that many of our clients ask is how can I get a driving license? Well, there are two paths, two routes, let's say. One, if you belong to a country that has exchange conditions with the UAE or whether you belong to a country that does not have exchange conditions. I'm gonna plug the list of countries below in the video description, but most European countries, uh, most Western countries will be on that list. Please take a look to the list below. Now, who can get a driving license? There are a number of requirements. The main one is you need to be a UAE resident. Uh, you will need to pr provide your Emirates ID, your visa, and your passport. You will need to be at least 18 years old. Uh, for motorbikes, you can be 17 years old. For heavy vehicles and tractors, 20 years old. And to drive a bus, 21 years old. I'm concentrating on this video on light vehicles, cars, yes? So let's think that your country does not belong to one of the listed countries here below. In that case, you will need to open a traffic file with RTA. You will need to take an eye test. They actually have machines at the RTA, so you don't even have to see people. You can do everything from the machines. Five, 10 minutes, you'll have it. And when you do this, you can register four classes. You will need to take a number of classes depending on the number of years of driving that you have. And then once you pass the theoric lessons, then you will go into the practice lessons and they will be tested on both sides. So again, depending on the number of years of your driving abroad that you can evidence and you can prove, you will need to take a number of classes or other number of classes. If you're watching this video and you are very interested, text me. There are loads of, uh, of driving institutes in Dubai, in the UAE, but I can share with you a couple of, of nice websites where they explain the information if you have to take the tests. And also it's very interesting when you go through these websites because there is a big difference. I come from Spain. I did my driving license actually in Spain and in the US. In the US, when I was very young when I moved there you can get your license at 16 in Europe in Spain was 18 and I did it much later I got my first driving license in the US it's very different the, the cars were relatively small basic cars in the UAE in Dubai you can have a VIP package and this what's gonna do that they are gonna give you priority to take the exams the cars are very nice are usually high-end vehicles that's a possibility as well. You have options in Dubai. You do have more options in this respect. Now, what happens if you have, if you hold a license from one of the countries that we see in the description below? If you hold a license from one of those countries, then with your Emirates ID, your passport, your visa, the same as we were saying before, also keep in mind that you will need to bring uh, photographs and an eye test report. In some circumstances, and I think this is a reality nowadays, they ask for an NOC from the sponsor. So if you are working for a company, they will ask you for an NOC. This is the latest news that I have from this month. So apparently this is a reality. I don't think they ask you for renewal purposes. It's only for the first time, okay? Now, uh, also interesting that once you get your driving license, this will be valid for 10 years. So it's very nice. Uh, cost approximately will be between 1,000 to 1,500. This will, when you convert and once you have all the classes. Yes, so the testing will be different. This, I do encourage you to check driving institutes. You can text me for a couple of websites that I find very helpful. But for those that have exchange, we were going over the documents, your Emirates ID, your passport, your visa, two uh, photographs, your eye test, the NOC, and then your driving license from abroad, from the country that is listed here. Sometimes they will ask you for translation of the driving license if it's not clear to them. Keep in mind 
that if you are not a resident, you can drive, you can rent a car and use your country of origin driving license. That's not an issue. But the moment you become a resident, you will need to hold a UA driving license. So keep this in mind because if you are stopped by police or something happens to you, this may be a little bit of an issue. So I hope that you have enjoyed the video, that you uh, have learned a little bit. Please do like the video if so. Uh, please do subscribe to get new information as soon as it is out. And of course, you can also follow me on social media as I do advance in social media when I publish a new video in my channel. Thank you so much.